Hi everybody, it's Rosemary. Um, I thought I'd come back today and show you um, something I missed the other day, which was when I was doing Marion's little parcel that she sent me of die cuts, I actually missed one. It fell off and it actually went from the table into this drawer. And it was these little die cuts. And it's a silhouette of a lady in a hat. And I'm really sorry, Marion, I didn't actually notice that they'd fallen off the package. Um, so yeah, she sent me those. And I also meant to show you these. I bought these at my local florist. And I tell you, I only got them because she's just across the road from me. It's like two minutes across the road. And I asked her if she had anything like this and she said she would get me some. But what she didn't tell me was how damned expensive they were. <laughs> and I mean they were flipping expensive. So she got me these ones which are like a little crystal flower. They're very pretty but I mean it's a tiny little bunch. These with the satin roses with the little bling in the middle. Um, this tiny little spray with, I think there was five of those in there, I've used one of those. Um, they, oh, that one's already come off of one of them, that's a good start. Those, they're like a little, um, they call it cone shaped bead on nylon thread. And these Now, for that little bunch there, it cost me £12. She said it was meant to be 15 And to be honest, the only reason I actually paid for them and had them was because she'd got them especially for me. She didn't actually have them in her shop. Otherwise, I would have said, I ain't buying them. Because that's a lot of money for that. So I had to play around with some beads and, you know, I, when I cut off the wires off of these, I always saved the wires and I made my own. And this is what I came up with. I made these little dinky ones and I did them in different colours using the little seed beads. But I didn't have a great deal of wire. <laughs> so I just made, you know, that's an iridescent one. Blue couple of red. I did two of each actually. Another little iridescent one. Oh, that's a, that's three of that one. Uh, another iridescent. The pink and white. Another blue. These are like um, a bigger bead, but they're all glass. Um, black and white. And these little silver ones. So, Um, I might be going back and getting any more because it's just too damned expensive for that. Um, and the other thing is I wanted to show you um, a little project I worked on for myself actually. Um, I'd seen that a lot of people had their own plaques so I thought hmm, going to have a go at that. My son finally cut up some wood for me and this is my creation. And I've got a little stand to put it on. And I made myself a little plaque. It's um, a piece of chipboard. Um, where's my ruler? I don't know how big it is. And my ruler's finished. Where's my ruler? It's gone. Oh, there it is. Hold on. One sec. It's gone behind my laptop. Alright. It's... The actual piece of wood is... How many inches go, ladies and gentlemen? So it's approximately five inches by seven, seven and a half inches wide. Um, I painted it in pink and I have my own creation of pink paint. And this is some red that I mixed with white and uh, made up my own colour. Um, I painted it well with white paint. And I don't know if you remember from a previous video, I bought some children's paints and I bought a silver one 
trouble is it's not exactly silver, it's more clear with some sparkle, which is why it's got the shimmer on it. I don't know, yeah, there it is, you can see it there. It doesn't actually colour, it just sparkles a little bit. Uh, I did this with my gypsy, uh, welded all the letters and numbers together with my gypsy and backed it with some black card. Um, these are some flowers, some were sent by Fiona, some were sent by Tricia, some were sent by Marion and to be quite honest I don't know who sent what because I don't have space to have things labelled under different names of who sent what so they all go into a, a little tub that I keep them in and basically it's whoever gave me what is in there. <laughs> um, the lace I know came from Fiona, this one. And I think this tiny little one came from Trisha, this little pink one here, and the bling came from Trisha. Um, but yeah, this is my little creation that I made for myself because I kept seeing all these ladies having their lovely signs on their desks. I mean, I know you know who I am because you've obviously come onto my channel, but I just thought, yeah, I'll do one of them. So this is what I came up with. I hope you like it. Also, there was um, a tutorial on gum stands. You know, if you glue gum. And because of I've got the same glue gum as Fiona. And my, my actual glue stand is a bit of a joke. I actually find it quite comical. Um, I've stuck everything on it that I don't particularly like. I'm not use on anything for anybody. Um, but just to add more weight to my glue stand um, because with these guns they plug in here you can't glue the gun to a stand and be able to get the plug in and out easily so I made this it's horrendous I know but it serves its purpose it works this was a box my son got um, a DVD in through the post because um, he's always buying games or whatever online so he had this box so on top of that I've stuck a piece of bent up card I've bent it um, across there I think they I'm sorry I know good. I don't measure things I just put them together and hope for the best <laughs> um, it's six inches wide and then I bent I made sure it fitted across the front of the box. Um, let's put that down a bit. Yeah, I made. <laughs> won't do as it's told this camera. Yeah, I made sure that this piece of card fitted across the front of the box, and um, I stuck some. Um, what's that paper line? Um, oh God, I can't think what it's called. It's tan floral, I think it's my mind's eye, but I won't swear to it, don't quote me on that. Um, I painted the whole thing white, stuck on some tan floral paper, and to add extra weight, because I didn't want it to fall over, obviously I wanted it to be stable, um, I stuck on some bits and bobs, a few flowers down here, some of these are wild orchid crafts, this one I made myself. This is a little frame rose that Trisha sent me. Um, these are bead caps, just to add a little bit of bling on the front. Some more little flowers that I made myself. I made all those. These are the ones I was talking about that I wouldn't actually put on anything for anybody. But it's just, my husband said it's hideous. I said, well, it doesn't have to be nice. It's only going to sit on my desk and hold my glue gun. <laughs> I don't care what it looks like. And my glue gun sits on there just fine. I can plug it in and just leave it there. It doesn't drip and it's great. Otherwise, my glue gun hardly ever stands up, especially once it's plugged in. Um, so that was my little creation. I know it's horrendous, but as long as it does the job, I'm not really bothered. Um, so... I hope you like those, uh, well, my plaque anyway, that's and my little creation of trims.
I mean, I don't need a lot of wire because, you know, you can just poke them in somewhere and fix them in. So they don't have to be that long, really. I mean, I could add a bit of extra wire on them if I wanted to, but they're fine. So that was my creation. And Marion, I'm sorry I missed off the little ladies. Um, they're very, very nice. And she sent me blue, white and black in those. And they're really nice. So thank you for those, Marion. Um, and I'm going to make one of these for Marion. She said she would like one. So I'm going to have a go and do one for Marion. So I'll say goodbye for now, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.